Hey, what's up guys? It's Hunter 3 on 8 and today I'm going to be showing you how to work the uh, Evil Controllers Modern Warfare 3 compatible controller. I got this controller yesterday and I didn't know how to use it. It took me about 3 or 4 hours to figure out the programming on this thing. Pain in the butt and I just wanted to figure it out and start gaming. And the manual for this thing is like four pages long, and they're full long pages too. Pain in the butt. But I, but below I'm going to put in the description everything on it, all the directories and toggles and stuff. And I'm going to be showing you how to turn those on without really even needing the directory. But turn on basic rapid fire. We're going to hold left, right trigger. Now you can do that for the left trigger as well. Hold that and press left trigger and then... But I don't like that on. But And now I'm going to show you how to do adjustable. We're going to hold up and press right and see how it starts blinking. That's the rate of fire. Let's say I want it to go slow. I'm going to hold it down so we can save some time here. That's the fire rate. Notice how it matches exactly how the game is. Now I'm going to speed it up really fast by holding the up button. It might be too fast for the game to process. So I do till it. I'll show you that normal. Whoops. And now I have USB. I still have my thingy, my adjustable rapid fire on. See, it's game. It's too fast for the game to realize. So, how you save your rapid fire is press select and it saves it, stops blinking, and now it's saved. You don't have to worry about the up and down arrows. And so that's how you do rapid fire and adjustable rapid fire and akimbo. Like I was saying, the left trigger, like the aiming thing, that's for akimbo. And we have auto burst, which is left. And then A, and that's rap that is auto burst. It does not work on Modern Warfare 3. And then we have the auto scope auto run. I'm gonna kill myself here. And I'm gonna turn that on. Which is D-pad left and then your left stick. That one's a kind of pain in the butt to do. But how what this does is when you scope in, I'm just going to scope in, and it holds my breath just instantly as I scope in. Not touching any sticks. Notice how the uh, hold right stick to hold breath doesn't show up above the scope. And then after you scope in, all you got to do is push it forward and you start running. Push forward, starts running. You don't have to push down to sprint just starts running. So now we're going to turn that off and to tar toggle the quick knife I have tactical layout which is d-pad left plus B but the normal is d-pad left with the right stick so normal is d-pad left right stick turn that off but d-pad for tactical is left d-pad B so how this works is I'm going to go over to my friends over here and show you the difference in the speed. Here they are. Notice how that works. You knife pulls a Semtex and press Y, but if you throw your Semtex, that feature is no longer available until you die and you get your Semtex back again. So it's pretty nice to have. And now I'm going to turn that off. And I'm going to turn on auto drop shot, which it, it deploys your drop shot, makes you prone right when you press the right trigger. You don't have to hold it, just as soon as you press it, it drops you. You turn that on by pressing the D-pad down and then 
uh, right stick since I'm tactical, but it's B for normal users. So how that is, I'll just shoot once. I have my drop shot buttons, but I'm not touching them. All you gotta do is press it once, and it drops you. Oops. Sh show that again. No drop shot buttons being touched. Wait, I turned it off. Yeah, see, there we go. Okay, hold on. These, no drop shots being touched. I shoot. Did my controller really not work to sit again? Oh, it, okay, now it'll work. Drop shots not being touched. Okay, I'm gonna turn that off. And we have fast reload, which is D-pad left and X. And you adjust that by holding your X until your ammo refills. I'm not going to show you because it doesn't work on this game, but it will work on Modern Warfare 2. And you can probably hook up other tutorials on how to do that on YouTube. And now we're going to get to the uh, harder part of the controller. This controller basically has classes, kind of like on this game. You can customize whatever you want on it. So let's say on my class 1, they call it slots in the manual, but my slot 1, let's say I want quick draw, rapid fire, and quick knife. All those all together on one mod, and I can save it. So I'm going to press right XX to turn it on. So I'm on a slot right now, but what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn on my rapid fire right there. I'm going to turn on my auto scope that is now on. I'm going to turn on my quick knife. That is now on. So I have three features on this one thing. I got my wait. Yeah, hold on. Wait to turn. I chose the wrong quick knife. I'm gonna do D-pad left. Pad B. See, here we go. There we go. And by the way, all these dummies are fake out 398. Here, I'm going to highlight this gamer tag for you. And we have his friend, which is. Oh man, I can't even pronounce that. Oh, Recovery. Here we go. That's his name. I don't know who he is. And so I have all three of my features on. I got my rapid fire and everything. Everything I need on one thing. And so now I can switch my other classes. See, these are all my other classes I have. One, two, three. See, this is one class I have. One, two is the one we just set up. Now let's say I want to choose another one, two, three. Now this is a different one that I can edit and stuff. And so that is the Modern Warfare 3 custom controller from Evil Controllers. Thanks for watching.